<laughs> Made out of the bedroom. I think they've certainly captured the Jedwood hair that you're, you're wearing at the moment. Uh, but what are those lines on your forehead? They haven't captured the new smooth alabaster. <laughs> <laughs> And that's an odd colour they've made your face, eh? <laughs> Looks like you've just opened the news of the world. Look at it. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Hold on. OK, have a look at this. I almost hesitate to show you this next one. Once again, we didn't make this. Uh, Reese, they heard you on the show, the lovely Reese with us, when they've made you, I'm afraid. Are you go. ready for this? Here you go. Look at this. This is quite terrifying. Look at that. <laughs> oh! oh, my God! <laughs> well, they've got the, they've got the blonde hair, right? They've got the blonde hair, right? You look slightly deranged, blushing with embarrassment. Looks more like Tiger Woods' wife. Look at that. <laughs> what? What? Give her a break. Oh, Reese, how could you say that? OK. <laughs> Shall we get my first guest out, ladies and gentlemen? <laughs> I think we better. We've just had an emergency call from all these restaurants. They've lost the tin opener and they're dangerously <laughs> low on smash. <laughs> Oh, he does a lovely smash, I'll tell you. Because he, he puts a bit of butter in it as well. That's what oh, makes the difference. <laughs> Will you please welcome Mr Gordon Ramsay? Flash! You're looking good, Gordon. Good to see you. Thank you. Good to see you as well. How lovely to have you here. Now, Thank you. Gordon, before we start, there's yes. so much to talk about, but do you know it's kind of all changed a little bit? Right. Uh, we don't really have the swearing on the BBC so much anymore. <laughs> when I swear on the show, sometimes they, they tend to cut it out. Right. And they're a bit worried about you coming on because, of course, you, you, you do swear quite a lot more than just about anyone else, it seems. <laughs> sometimes. Even after 10.30? OK, well, they're a bit worried. So they've given me this. Do you know about this? Have they asked you about this? This no, is the new nothing. BBC, uh, I think it's called the Compliance Atron 3000. <laughs> okay? and, and you have to wear this, I'm afraid, during the course of the interview. You see those two prongs there, ladies and gentlemen? Yep. Uh, they will send an electric shock oh, into <laughs> if there's any swearing. They will. I'm afraid they will. Does and it work? I'm afraid it does. Yes. So, uh, have you got one? Do you want me to test? Oh, yeah, I test don't need it, one, please. <laughs> do you want me to test it yeah, for you? Please. Thank you. Yeah. Because yeah. <laughs> if you're not feeling it, I can turn it up. No, 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 it's no, only... no, 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 don't turn it up. It's only on three. It goes up to eight. I want it okay. Yeah, I'll, I'll, That's I'll leave for it. special words. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Uh, Gordon, it's great to see you. Likewise, good to see you too. Uh, you're, as I said, you are looking a bit smoother, <laughs> and it's been in the newspapers. No, no, because, well, let's get this out of the way. It's a, it's a slightly less craggy Ramsey than we're used to. <laughs> I, I, had, I had two lines. You, yeah, I know, you've been very honest about this. You yeah, had those smooth. lines, there, didn't you? Yeah. yeah. Um, it was suggested by um, Simon Cowell one night having dinner. He said, look, do something about that. I've got a friend that can sort that out. So I didn't really think much of it, and then the next day I thought, do you know what, I'm going to take his advice and go and do it. And it was uh, a little bit weird, over and done within uh, sort of three minutes, but... Yeah, just two little laughter lines. Because, yeah, there was there. But why did you feel the need to... Because it's not vanity as such, No, no, no. I'd never actually thought about it until actually somebody had pointed it out. But every time we go over to the States and we sort of cook and yeah. um, get close uh, to customers, they look at you in a very strange way. And the first question they ask was, my God, how old were you when we went through the windscreen? Jesus. Yeah, I know. <laughs> Which is a little bit sort of, you know, over the top. So I tried it. How old it... were you when you went through the windscreen? <laughs> <laughs> So, I mean, it, it was only done within, sort of, three minutes. So what did he do? What did he, was sandpaper involved, or what did no. he do? Is that a laser? <laughs> I, I don't know much about these things. I haven't had any surgery. You've never had anything yet, done? Yet. I'm going to have some. I think I might have some done. For your 50th birthday? Yeah, I'm going to have some really big knockers <laughs> right out here. Like this. Just going to see how it feels to get that kind of attention from so, men. <laughs> <laughs> so I had a uh, little procedure with a, um, sort of, a small needle, and it went underneath the line and just, like, scraped underneath and sort of just pushed it out. And they pushed it Did they use filler in there? Did they put any stuff in there? Like it wasn't any... like a, a sort of filler, it was like a sort of gel. Oh, jeez. But it... <laughs> I mean, I, I didn't even feel the sort of... Uh, the prick, you know, in terms of... <laughs> I it was that small, it was a needle. <laughs> did, did you say, is it in yet? So... <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 I said, is it done yet? Is it done yet? <laughs> Um, but you, we, I think you've got to be careful, because, look, here, here's how you look right now, OK? This is, if we look at Please. the photo from before, OK? Yeah. Now you look at the lines removed, the next one, yeah. we sort of smoothed out, OK? <laughs> and then, yes, like a baby, like a oh, baby. And then on. we go a little bit further, and next time you come in, you're looking like that. <laughs> and then... <laughs> yes, it's a slippery slope, Ramsey. Don't take that off. <laughs> and then, look at this next one. And then, who knows? Who knows where it could lead? Who knows? <laughs> 
<laughs> who knows what delights will lie in store for us in the future? Come on. Come just on. all I'm saying is just be think once, think twice. Thank think, you. Think safe. Okay. Right. Uh, all right. Uh, before we talk about all the cooking, let's uh, just get. It's been. Let's face it. It's been a tough year for you, haven't it? In any number of ways. There's been a lot of things coming at you, coming your way. <laughs> it's uh, been. A, it's been a very tough year. Very. What hard. month was it you decided to cancel all the newspapers? <laughs> when, when, when about did you decide? Okay, I've had enough of that. <laughs> Thank you. Um, <laughs> smart ass. Well, no. Uh, <laughs> hey, I'm in the same boat to an extent. I cancelled mine last November. I stopped reading the papers when they Seems started writing about me. So I know what you kind of what you're going uh, for. Really weirdly, on my birthday last November, uh, literally uh, 14 months ago. So, um, yeah, it's been a tough one. Yeah. Learned a lot. Um, get my head down and continue to do what I'm good at doing and um, fighting the fires. But... And, you're, and, and the businesses, I know that there's, all businesses are going through a bit of a tricky time now. Yep. Uh, I've been reading about yours, but you're, you're kind of consolidating, you're getting yeah. rid of some and others you're showing up. What's yeah. happening with all the restaurants? No one saw it coming in terms of a uh, recession. We opened up uh, nine restaurants in a period of 15 months. Uh, very, very hard. Big success in Paris, New York, LA. Um, the euro became stronger than the pound for the first time in 10 years, which caused uh, a lot of cash flow problems. Um, we consolidated, I think, really. Um, all the independent restaurants outside the UK got turned back into consultancies, so we didn't brunt the risk. So they weren't yours as such, but Absolutely. your name is attached and you attached, help out a bit. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So when you go in, you do the dishes, a little bit of helping out of that. <laughs> <laughs> Empty the bins, make sure the oven's clean, that kind of stuff. Yeah. Make sure I... there's enough fish fingers. You know, like, <laughs> the, it's just, keep it on top of things. Like you fill in the order online for the shopping, a carter. I'm dying to swear at you. Well, go ahead, <laughs> go ahead. Not, just try one, let's just try one. Arsehole. <laughs> <laughs> you see, but it's good. It will teach you another. Right, okay. So um, turn it up one because that's no, 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 no. That's okay. absolutely fine. Thank you. <laughs> you've got a, you've got a really big lump on the top of your. <laughs> I'm sorry. I thought. <laughs> sorry. I thought that. I thought you said something else. <laughs> what? But there's like a. It's like a cyst growing on. <laughs> I've been pardoned. I'm sorry. I didn't quite hear that. Was that? You need, uh, you need to see a doctor. <laughs> <laughs> Leave it on! Okay. <laughs> I like this. <laughs> uh, all right, you must be relieved then Christmas is coming because uh, it, it kind of draws a line on what's going behind you at the end of the year. You can look ahead, you know, you've got yeah. a, you know, a fresh start coming. Yeah. What do you have planned for Christmas? What's Christmas hold for you and the family? Hey, Christmas is a bit of a bustling holiday for us. I mean, it um, starts at the beginning of December and, you know, restaurants are, are crazy. Customers are excited and very happy. Yeah. So by the time you get to Christmas Day, the last thing you want to see is a turkey. Um, they will have a nice uh, family Christmas. Uh, so when do you start? So you don't do a Christmas dinner in your restaurants, do you? Or do you do a, a, a kind of like a, a kind of like fancy version of it for people? <laughs> you must, I guess, is it? Uh, no, no. The clarity is we have a classic, you know, um, Christmas Day celebration, and they have um, Father Christmas and uh, all the sort of decorations and bits and bobs. But I uh, know this Christmas we're going to be together with some friends and just have a, a nice chilled out Christmas day. I think I know who your friends are. <laughs> oh, yes, I've got a bone to pick with you, Ramsey. I've known Gordon for a long time. I've eaten in his restaurants. I've paid to eat in his restaurants. Always have a great meal. He's never once offered me a freebie, which you'd think he would, right? <laughs> but he's never said, oh, yeah, you want something on a sandwich or something on a pot round or you want some mince pies at Christmas? No. But I found out that the Beckhams, oh, yeah, the Beckhams, uh, every year you've been sending someone over to cook for the Beckhams. And this year, I believe you're cooking for the Beckhams. I am not cooking for the Beckhams. What are you doing? Then? We're having lunch together with the families. Well, who's cooking? You don't want her cooking. So <laughs> <laughs> I'm not going to let her. She doesn't, she doesn't know where the bloody kitchen is. <laughs> she you, leave can't. It, you leave it her, it'd be Domino's turning up at Christmas Day. <laughs> 54 pounds. <laughs> she does eat, and she eats exceptionally well, just healthy, but uh, David's quite a good cook. David's a good cook, is he? Yeah, no, he cook. I mean, Victoria cooks as well. Okay, yeah. Um, so, you're going to have, uh, you're going to have Christmas, that'll be nice, then, that'll be yeah. a nice day. Christmas Day, yeah, it'll be fun. Uh, and what present are you going to take over there? I'm not too sure, I'll think about it. I don't like shopping too early, I think when you start shopping for presents, yeah. At the end of October, it's boring. You what? get to sort of middle of December. <coughs> what are you getting me this year? So, yeah, fuck all. <laughs> <laughs> Leave it on! Leave it on! <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to get you a running machine. A running machine? You fat bastard. <laughs> <laughs> no. Okay, okay. You need to lose a little bit of weight. Just a little bit here, you look like I my do dog. need to lose a little bit. Yeah. I might get some work done. Do you know anyone I can go to? <laughs> <laughs> Okay, uh, what are you cooking for us this evening? Because uh, Gordon has put his name, and let's face it, it's a name which is internationally famous because he's made a huge success not only of his businesses here, but in America. You're one of the biggest, best known stars. Your reality show is the, the biggest reality show on American TV. Yeah, That's some achievement, ladies and gentlemen. Let's yeah. hear it from Gordon. Yeah. <laughs> you know, let's not forget. And it's because of who you are and what you do. Um, yeah. 
And Gordon has put his name behind Comic Relief, which is always a lovely thing to hear, and yeah. uh, has some sources out called Seriously Good Sources. There's a yep. picture of Gordon. Uh, I think, yeah. is that pre or post op? I can't <laughs> With the uh, sources there. The sources there. It's been lovely. Uh, <laughs> And Gordon doesn't get any money from that at all. <coughs> uh, money goes to Comic Relief and the profits of those, and that's a, a lovely thing there. And the sources are pasta sources, Yeah, right? pasta sources, and not just for pasta, but uh, fish, chicken, meat, great lasagna. So, like, cooking things. sources, basically? Yeah, cooking sources, cooking but sources. they are absolutely delicious. OK. And 10,000 times tastier than Jamie Oliver's. Oh, really? <laughs> <laughs> Whoa.